Hello, today we're going to talk about the limelight. Some of you may know the phrase to be in the limelight and wonder what exactly does that mean? After all, Roscoe does make a lime-colored gel, but it's not the most flattering of colors. So that's the color you're going for, is it? Ugh. Why would you want to be in that? Well, it doesn't refer to the gel. The original effect was actually discovered by a man with the most British name ever, Sir Goldsworth Gurney. Um, it was then turned into a usable lighting fixture by a Scotsman named Thomas Drummond, which is why you sometimes hear them called Drummond lights. The way that a limelight works is you direct an oxyhydrogen flame onto a piece of quicklime, which then starts to glow. Now, you may be wondering why you had to direct the flame onto a piece of quicklime instead of just using the flame as a light source. Theaters used gas lights all the time. Well, a gas light uses a hydrocarbon, which means that it's got hydrogens and carbons in it. You mix it with the oxygen in the air, and it turns into water and carbon dioxide and heat. The carbon glows that nice orange color. If you have a hydrogen-oxygen flame, it's much hotter, but it's almost invisible. For example, this is the space shuttle main engine firing in a test stand. That motor is using almost a thousand liters of fuel a second, and you can still see through the exhaust plume, even when all three of them are firing in a shuttle launch. You can still see through them. The bright light and smoke come from the solid rocket boosters, which use a different fuel entirely. When I first came up with the idea of doing this demo, I had one slight problem. It's not exactly easy to get hold of quicklime these days. And when you tell people you're looking for quicklime, they start to look at you funny and think that you're trying to dispose of a body. And when you tell them that you're actually trying to recreate an archaic form of theatrical lighting fixture, they don't look at you less funny. Uh, also, it doesn't work for disposing of bodies. It just kind of masks the smell. So then I looked up how to make quicklime. I mean, how hard can it be? The Romans used to do it. And Wikipedia says you calcinate limestone. Okay, so then I looked up calcination, and it turns out you're just heating it up to about 830 degrees Celsius. And since I was gonna heat it up to about two and a half thousand with my torch anyway, I figured I'd just make the quicklime on the way there. So I went to the hardware store, I bought some limestone tile, and I bought a map gas torch, although it's actually probably propylene, because I haven't made map gas in the US since about 2006 or 2008, I can't remember, and got this set up. First, quick safety note. Theaters are generally paranoid about fire, because we used to burn down a lot, because we used to light our theaters with things like limelights and open gas jets and candles. Just not a good scene. And even though we haven't really used any of those open flame fixtures for 100 years or so, we're still paranoid. So in preparation for this demonstration, I have taken the liberty of clearing every flammable thing within about three meters in every direction. Uh, I also have my squeezy bottle full of water. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven fire extinguishers that I can see from where I'm standing, as well as four fire hoses, one there, one down the hallway, and two behind me on stage. I've also got safety glasses and health insurance. So this is what an old gas light would have looked like. Bright flame, but very, very sooty and flickery. This is closer to what you would have gotten with an oxyhydrogen flame. Uh, if you've done oxyacetylene welding, this should look pretty familiar. All right, let's try and heat this up nice and evenly. Here is my piece of limestone after calcination. You can see the top is 
much different than the bottom half of it. Uh, calcination is simply driving off the carbon, uh, turning it from calcium carbonate to calcium oxide. to light myself using only the limelight. There we go. Not green. Actually, not a bad light. And also, since it was one of the first point sources of light before we got to electricity, this is what would be in the spotlight. Thus, if you were in the limelight, you were one of the main characters. Spear carrier number three could be off in the gaslight, but if you were in the limelight, you are an important person. And now, a lime limelight. And now, lighting a lime with a lime limelight. That was a terrible joke, and I should be ashamed of myself. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration. I've got a couple of others that I'm planning on doing. None of them are particularly as exciting as this one, except for maybe the arc light, uh, but hopefully you'll find them interesting. And thank you for watching. It's fake. Welcome to theater.